So we are far from over. It's a neighborhood not far from our home here that was hardly spared. Every home in this neighborhood was affected. For weeks, maybe even months of being back to any sense of normalcy around here. But this is uh, this is what life looks like in Walker right now. So um, we are gonna pick up the pieces and just keep keep moving on. People trying to just get back to some type of uh, sense of normal right now. Molly's going to sing for you while we're doing this, but just wanted the rest of the world to know that this is far from over when you stop seeing it on the news and think everybody's got their life back they don't so if you're thinking about taking a trip down here for Labor Day weekend and offering assistance it would be greatly appreciated we can uh, help you coordinate efforts to get help down here the cleaning supplies and the food and all of the uh, organizations that are trying to get some type of um, relief are, are doing very well with the manpower. Manpower is what we need more than anything. Now this is what it looks like after it gets cleaned up. After the, uh, the garbage trucks come and pick up with their claws and and trucks you can see that's under a tree so they're not going to get too much of that so it looks like we're gonna have to move some of our piles but um thanks for thinking about us and uh praying for us and continuing to pray because we need it our neighborhoods need it our families need it Please. Hmm? Our cities. Yeah. This is um it's life changing. Oh, we're gonna pick up the pieces and we're gonna be better than ever. I think one thing's really cool though is, um, and I've heard it said from a lot of people, makes you proud to be an American and proud to be somebody from Louisiana when um, you know it's your neighbors getting you through this and you getting your neighbors through this, everybody banding together because everybody's feeling the same thing. I think one of the greatest things that I, I keep hearing over and over there's our pile, our mother-in-law's pile, what we've been uh, trying to piece together here. Uh, one of the greatest things is, uh, you know, you hear people walking through the grocery store and the first question is, How, how'd you guys make it through this? And more times than not, they say, oh, we lost everything. And you might hear a, yeah, us too. And then you might hear I'm um, so sorry to hear that, man. We didn't, you know, we came through without, without a scratch. But everybody smiles and hugs, and the greatest thing that they're thankful for is their lives and their families making it through this. I mean, 
I think the, the total count, and it's catastrophic to lose one person, but out of the, the tens of thousands of people who've been displaced, um, I think the, the, the final count on any kind of uh, fatalities due to this was 13. And that's pretty amazing when you see the scale of this, you know, and it's not discounting 13 lives. God knows that that's horrific. But um, knowing that uh, it could have been so much worse, it uh, lets you know how blessed we are. Hey, thanks for thinking about us. Keep praying for us, guys. We love you. God bless.